to uh, welcome back from Oasis, who uh, set the nation alight with his classical gas last time. And uh, that is Tony McCarroll. Are you down there, Tom? Oh, uh, very well, thank very you, Tony. Yeah, and how's yourself? All right, sir. Yeah, all right. Very good. Now, obviously, last time you were on, you had the, the BBC Philharmonic with you doing classical gas. Yeah. Didn't you? And, uh, well, it was very good, wasn't it? Not really, no. <laughs> so what happened? Because, obviously, uh, you know, the uh, your erstwhile colleagues in Oasis have played to 250,000 people over the weekend at Nebworth. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I, what? Didn't, no, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, so what have you been doing? Well, I've, been, I've still got the bakers going in Levin June. Yeah. And uh, we, we did a big run on flapjacks because they had, like, a fate. Right. And they were selling flapjacks for a pound. Yeah, that's quite expensive, isn't Everybody it? knew they could get them at our place, only 25 pence. Yeah, right, OK, that's good, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Work out for yourself. <laughs> right, fair enough. Uh, so, uh, but what have you been doing in terms of uh, live work? Have you been gigging at all? Yeah, we did, I told you, we plugged the Lancaster Tavern. You, you had one gig at the Lancaster Tavern, didn't yeah. you? So, so how did that go? Well, not very well. Right, that's I a surprise, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I came away with a bit of a loss, actually, because you know there's 75 lads in the BBC Philharmonic? Yeah. Well, there's £75 each a night. Right. Which cost me, like, £5,625. So on the evening, I made a loss. Did you? How much was the loss? £5,625. Right, OK. Um, and, you know, I didn't realise, I didn't look into it very well, because I'm not a businessman. No. I'm, I'm good on flapjacks, but gigs, to right. get it. Yeah. And, uh, like, the fire limit's 86. Right. Well, it's 75 of the lads and me. Yeah. Only left room for 10 people. Yes. And they, yeah, they, they, they wanted the money back at the end of the night. Did they? So it was a bit of a disaster. Right, OK. So, uh, now, I believe that it's coming to an end, Classical Gas, isn't it, really? Yeah, I'm putting it to bed. Right, OK. Before we talk about that, I mean, you have got a final EP out, haven't you? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I've tried to turn it into an owner because I've dropped the band, and what I do is I just take a CD out on the road with me and play along to it. Do you? Right. Yeah. So, so what, are you still doing the uh, Albinoni Adagio? No, that's the past edition, it. <laughs> ah! Cooking on natural gas. <laughs> no, um, what I'm going to be doing, uh, the A side is like eight songs on the B side, one song on the A side. Right. And it's uh, called The Arrival of Queen and Sheba, which is a dog. Right, no, the, the, Queen of she the Arrival of the Queen of Sheba. Is that what it is? Yeah. I didn't read it properly. Right. And it was written by Irene Handel. Yeah, OK, fine, to handle. Yeah, right. Are you ready, then, uh, Tony McCarroll? Is this the last ever public performance, then? I would have thought so. Right, OK, here we go. Uh, Tony McCarroll and Classical Gas. Uh, Irene handles the arrival of the Queen and her dog, Sheba, apparently, or somewhere else. You ready? Oh, I... <laughs> Well, it still sounds brilliant to me, so, well, I, you know, it's a shame that Cost has uh, put that project to bed. So, uh, what is, that's what everybody wants to know, what is your new project? A drum and bass. Drum and bass? Drum and bass. Oh. Very modern project. Right? Very modern project, right. So, the dance sensation sweeping that there nation. So, you're going to bring your new band in a bit later on, are you? Yeah. Excellent. Bass okay. Player. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's drum and bass with uh, Tony McCarroll. And uh, is it called Classical Gas still, the new one? No, it's called Natural Gas. It's R like a clever twist on it. <laughs> it's, it's a very clever twist, is that, Tom? Uh, right. So, uh, Tony McCarroll and his new band uh, a bit later on. This is Frank. This is Tony McCarroll, uh, late of Classical Gas and now of Natural Gas. Are you there, Tom? Mm, comedy, 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 top flight comedy. Are you there, Tom? What a wag he oh. is, to be sure. Uh, Ex-Oasis oh. kick-botty thunderstick drumbo, uh, Tony McCarroll. That's now, me. now then, uh, you said before, sadly, uh, the, uh, you no longer with classical gas. Too expensive to keep on the road. Oh, on the back boiler. Uh, even though it was an artistic triumph. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Right, so uh, what have you moved on to? 
Well, basically, um, you know, like they have tribal gathering and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, very successful. What is it? Well, it's a, it's a gathering of the uh, tribes and uh, all the sort of different strands of uh, dance music and techno and ambient and drum and bass and everything get together and it's a celebration. Sounds bloody awful to me, but apparently people like that kind of thing, so I thought I'd me out, I thought I'd start a new project. Right, and what is it? Well, it's drum and bass. Drum and bass, right. Now, you know, I mean, like, uh, who's that Pete Tong fella? Yeah. Well, I heard him talking about it, and I thought, well, you know, it must be a goer. Right. And obviously it's, like, quite reasonably to a uh, price to take on the road. How do you mean? Well, there's only two of you. Right. You don't have to hire a van. I mean, you you, you think Shawaddy Waddy had it bad. <laughs> that bloody BBC Philharmonic had four coaches. Right. Very expensive. Very expensive, right. So, um, me and my mate, Simon the Psycho, he, he plays bass with me. He's from the local Bernie band, the Crazy Sons of Bitches. Right, is it? Yeah. 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 And, uh, he they... looks, looks like Richard from uh, A1 Music across the road to me. Well, it is Richard for me. Well, boy, you didn't sound as good. Right. Um, but basically, we just get out in a minute and we're going to go and do a full tour of Burnage. Right, OK. So, uh, what you, and how do you feel about this, Richard? Are you really revved up, are you? Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> OK, fine. Right, so what are you going to do first? This is, I mean, it's, it's good. I think you're moving with the times. Yeah. This is, it's the dance sensation that's sweeping that their nation. Well, uh, they've not, not got any titles yet, because we, we can't think of no words, you see. Right, yeah. So I've been a bit stymied on that front. I mean, okay. if anybody can think of any titles, I'd be most grateful. I'm sure they will when they've well, heard is, it. This is that one. You know that one, don't you? The first one. Right, this, right. Is a, this is actually called the first one. Right, OK, so it's uh, Tony McCarroll. It's the first time we played it, and all. <laughs> it right? Yeah. Right. Tony McCarroll with uh, his, what's his name? Simon from the Crazy Sons and Bitches. That's right. right and his new project, uh, the drum and bass uh, duo, and uh, what is it? called again? Oh, the first one, it's right. the first one. Okay, Tony McCarroll, our natural gas. And if we could just say, if you hang on a bit, you will hear the second one a bit later, <laughs> okay. okay? Fine, right. You're right, Simon, from the crazy sons of the bitches. You're right, Richard. Are you, you going to count us in or what? I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I told you to stop there when I do the paradiddle. <laughs> yeah, I'm working with an amateur. It's very good. It's very good. Have you got any more? Because I think, you know, like the yeah. Kaisers, or the Kaisers on Tuesday, you know, said do an extra one. You know, let's have another straight away, because I didn't quite understand drum and bass, but I can see it now. Well, it's got an appeal. <laughs> it has got an appeal. Yeah, have you got any more? Yeah, you know, should, should we do the second one? Shall we to count you in? Go on, then. <laughs> no, you count me. No. What? I think my guitar's that tune. <laughs> oh, you're a crazy son of a bitch, aren't you? Tell you what, I'll count in. One, two, three, four. Brilliant, they're tight as a duck's arse, the ending on that one, won't it? So, uh, in case you've just tuned in, you're not listening to uh, the Essential Selection mix thing. No! Uh, you're, listening, you're still listening to us, and uh, we're having a drum and bass fandango. Yeah. And we'll have more in the last half hour of the programme. We are. Right, OK.